Since the tragedy, she had only been heard from really on social media. So today was the first time Vanessa spoke publicly in front of 20,000 people at Staples Center, millions watching around the world, and she did a beautiful job. Here's a small sample. But I want my daughters to know and remember the amazing person, husband, and father he was. The kind of man that wanted to teach the future generations to be better and keep them from making his own mistakes. He was thoughtful and wrote the best love letters and cards. She was thoughtful like him. They were so easy to love. God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to heaven together. Babe, you take care of our Gigi. And I got Nani, Bibi, and Coco. We're still the best team. We love and miss you, Boo Boo and Gigi. May you both rest in peace and have fun in heaven until we meet again one day. We love you. Mommy. Just before that service began, news broke that Vanessa Bryant is suing the company that owned the helicopter that crashed and killed her husband and daughter. It's a wrongful death lawsuit filed against Island Express Helicopters Incorporated the morning, uh, th this morning in Los Angeles Superior Court. It claims that Ara Zabayan, who was Kobe's longtime pilot, was careless and negligent by flying in cloudy conditions that day and that he should have aborted the flight that killed all nine people on board, including Zabayan. The NTSB has not concluded what caused the crash in Calabasas, but said there was no sign of mechanical failure. A final report is unexpected. The MVP of Girl Dads. He was my sweet husband and the beautiful father of our children. He was my everything. Everyone always wanted to talk about the comparisons. I just wanted to talk about Kobe. Mamba, you were taken away from us way too soon, but now it's time for us to continue your legacy. Kobe, your heaven's MVP, till we meet again. Rest in peace, Kobe. Officially, it was called a celebration of life, and it truly was a celebration. Two beautiful lives yep. celebrated today with both tears and laughter, a lot of each, in, in Kobe Bryant's home away from home, Staples Center in Los Angeles. Welcome to Sports Center alongside Kevin Agandi. I'm Sage Steele on a very difficult day, as we all remember Kobe and Gianna. Sage, in his famous ESPY speech, the great Jim Valvano once said, if you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. And anybody who watched today's memorial certainly experienced those emotions as Kobe and Gigi's legacy were celebrated in L.A. Hannah Storm anchors our coverage on the West Coast. Thank you, Kevin and Sage, as we welcome you back to downtown Los Angeles. And this was the scene earlier today at the Staples Center, the house that Kobe built for the celebration of life for Kobe and Gianna, notably on 2-24-20, the date reflective of the numbers of both and the stage inside, 24 by 24 feet and surrounded by roses, one for every point that Kobe scored in the NBA. As we saw today, the greatest stars in the game of basketball, both past and present were there. So many of those involved in the five championships, one here by Kobe and the Lakers. Beyonce, Christina Aguilera, Alicia Keys performed, Jimmy Kimmel hosted, and it was a day that was poignant, it was powerful, and at times it was funny. And that was a relief, laughter, so healing. And it was, as you pointed out, called a celebration even though it was a difficult day but the person that set the tone for that celebration right away the first speaker she was so incredibly strong Vanessa Bryant who lost both her husband and her daughter speaking in the face of imaginable tragedy and showing uncommon grace we will not be able to see Gigi go to high school with Natalia and ask her how her day went we didn't get the chance to teach her how to drive a car. I won't be able to tell her how gorgeous she looks on her wedding day. Gigi would have most likely become the best player in the WNBA. She would have made a huge difference.
Kobe was known as a fierce competitor on the basketball court. The greatest of all time, a writer, an Oscar winner, and the Black Mamba. I couldn't see him as a celebrity, nor just an incredible basketball player. He was my sweet husband and the beautiful father of our children. He was mine. He was my everything. Kobe was the MVP of Girl Dads, or MVD. He never left the toilet seat up. He always told the girls how beautiful and smart they are. He taught them how to be brave and how to keep pushing forward when things get tough. God knew they couldn't be on this earth without each other. He had to bring them home to heaven together. Babe, you take care of our Gigi. And I got Nani, Bibi, and Coco. We're still the best team. We love and miss you, Boo Boo and Gigi. May you both rest in peace and have fun in heaven until we meet again one day. We love you both and miss you forever and always. Mommy. Back with Stephen A. Smith, uh, so powerful, beautiful, uh, so personal, every detail uh, as she's first started speaking about Gigi. And then Kobe, and you know, Vanessa has always been in the background of Kobe shining and his accomplishments. And today she had to be so strong for everyone right there in the Staples Center. What struck you about her remarks? <laughs> well, it's easy to see why he was classified or labeled the girl dad when you have such a wonderful wife such a devoted wife who's such a strong, strong woman, obviously a tremendous mom as well. You just have to tip your hat to her. I don't know where on earth she had that strength, that courage. Uh, it was unbelievable to see. I did not expect her, believe it or not, uh, to get up and speak. I just thought that I was, I don't know why, but I thought it would be such a tough, tough thing for her uh, just to be there alone. I knew she would be there, of course, but for her to get up and speak, and to speak so eloquently uh, for as long as she did, mm -hmm. highlighting the story of Gigi as well as Kobe, it just, it was, it was mesmerizing to say the least. She was tremendous, and you know what? Kobe loved his wife. I mean, he raved about her at every turn, and he said that she was the closest thing to perfection that he'd ever known until he had his daughters, all right? <laughs> now they might give her a run for their money. That was a joke that he told about a year ago or so, and that's what really resonated. She's absolutely wonderful in every way. We've always known that because we've always heard from Kobe how wonderful she was, and she just showcased that today. She'll need that strength in the years to come, and I think the comforting thing was you sensed the basketball community really wrapping their collective arms around that family, and she was the first speaker mm -hmm. to today, and it's so interesting because the next three speakers all came from the world of women's basketball. Yeah. Then we heard from Rob Palenka, and then we finished out with Michael Jordan and Shaquille O'Neal. And for more on that, here's Maria Taylor. Hi, Maria. Hi, Hannah. And you're correct. We heard from Sabrina Ionescu, Diana Taurasi, and Gino Oriema. They are all legends in the world of women's basketball. But one of the most poignant and mesmerizing moments that we saw was when Michael Jordan took the podium. He was the idol for Kobe Bryant. He was also the adversary at times. And as Michael Jordan describes it, he was most certainly his little brother. What he accomplished as the basketball player as a businessman and a storyteller and as a father. In the game of basketball, in life, as a parent, Kobe left nothing in the tank. He left it all on the floor. Now he's got me, I'll have to look at another crime meme for the next When Kobe Bryant died, a piece of me died. And as I look in this arena and across the globe, a piece of you died, or else you wouldn't be here. And here they were, NBA royalty, from Laker legends to a Celtic great, current stars and those recently retired, all watching on as Kobe's passion as a girl dad was on full display. There's some amazing women in this room, aren't there? 
Kobe's willingness to do the hard work and make the sacrifice every single day inspired me and resonated with the city of Los Angeles. We struggled together, we grew together, we celebrated victories together. The same passion we all recognized in Kobe, obviously, Gigi inherited.